Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you how I beat the Ghost King Duo and share some tips and tricks. Uh, basically, uh, I went with the melee first, we didn't work that well, but the second try, uh, it worked amazingly well. There are some really cool things actually happen in the fight. Um, first of all, um, for some reason, uh, they actually revive themselves. The first one revived and revived the other one, so I was celebrating too early actually, it was really funny, you're gonna see it. I was celebrating, yeah, and then poof, two of them again, it was crazy. So what I use, basically uh, you have uh, places to actually hide, right? And they don't move fast, by the way, uh, and there's some AOE, but again, not something that, you know, because they are slow, you have time to maneuver. Uh, basically, you can spawn pets as well, and I'm going to show you what I use. Uh, I recommend, by the way, lots of them, so actually, you know, you can actually use Mimic. I, I, because there are two, I use the Great Shield Soldier Ashes, very tanky, and, you know, I'm just make sure that I'm actually tanking them. Uh, until the duration I actually deal damage. I'm also using a, a potency of incantation. Uh, I'm going to show you which incantation I used to significantly reduce the damage uh, in attack, uh, sorry, uh, damage and defenses of the enemies. I'm going to show you the incantation in a second. And uh, this one here enhances uh, uh, see, uh, casting spell speed and uh, in its charge spell and skills. So basically, I use that. Um, I'm using this armor, up to you. Right, just make sure that I'm medium, not heavy. And I'm using again the Envoy's Long Horn, which is serves me amazingly well throughout the game. I use it so many times, absolutely amazing. And Flesk Wanderers with uh, uh, Ronlus, just forget about it, doesn't matter. I should have removed this. Anyway, uh, the incantation that I use is this one. Sorry, incantation that I use. This one emits the roar, you see this one, all right? Reducing the attack power and defense of nearby enemies. So I'm going to show you the fight so you can see how it went. Very easy, by the way, with this specific build was very, very easy. So let's take a look how it goes. All right, let's the fight begin. So again, two enemies at the same time. That's why I went with the pads, just to make sure that I won't get an aggro. Uh, but again, you can see that it moved pretty slow, but the area is not big either, right? But you have those pillars you can actually run around. This is the AoE I'm talking about. You can just roll uh, to for the hit, spawning them immediately, and they're going to tank. They are very, very tanky, by the way. Then they're using the bubbles. Now the roar. You see, I get hit by almost by nothing. You see? Crazy. Because of the shield. Right? Then bubble. These bubbles are just crazy. You see, it's already like posture down. Again, this consume FP by the way, so make sure you have enough. And charge it beforehand. Alright, you see one gun. Second, this is the funny moment. See, I'm celebrating like early. Look at this, look at this. But they're not done. <coughs> Up again. Now my pet's really gonna be out soon, but luckily for me I have the bubbles. You see, I don't have mana here, I need to recharge my flask. You see the damage below is very, very good damage. This was a fail, by the way, wrong direction, I didn't lock. I didn't lock again, two fails. Yeah, now I lock properly. Again, I have time here, you see I can move. I can survive a bit of damage. I'm hiding. We are very low, and that's it. So that's how I won the fight. A few, of course, uh, misplays there. It would be easier, of course, without those misplays. And that's it. This is the fight. Not hard. Again, depends on the build, of course, but that's how I did it. So I'm sharing if you have similar items, you can do it quite easily. 
So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this one. More coming. So make sure you subscribe and give this one a little a like. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.